So here we are back with the complete tuning guide series that I've been doing on the Elite Ritual Bow. Um, we're setting this thing up from top to bottom. We are now at the leveling of the sight step. Um, it has been a few days since I've been able to post any videos and I apologize for that, but there's been lots of tournaments, lots of things going on that's kind of kept me busy. So we're back in the shop, I'm going to continue this series now. As you see, I have this bow in a vise. Now, this is a medicine stone vise. Uh, I'm not even sure if the company's still in business anymore. I bought this 20 years ago and it still works fantastic. And so I set this on my bench. I level up my bow in the vise. Um, I do that by several different ways. Um, you can see this little string level that I have on here right now. And that is a good way to, to get it rough in. Um, the way I like to measure it and make certain that it's right is I use a, a four foot level from one edge of the limb pocket down to the other limb pocket to make sure that they're both level with each other. Now some bows, the risers are actually offset just a little bit, the tip to tip because of the way they're balancing their cams or the way the load is changing or the engineering's design behind the bow. So sometimes that doesn't work out as good as you'd like. So for that, what I'd like to uh, show you is, is I use this same little string level and I put it up against the riser. I find a really nice solid place um, that's square that I know is level and I can butt it up against that and, and it will show me that it's level. And then I go back to the string and put it on there. That way it's easy for me to see um, if something's getting off or not. Now, with the string level, the one thing you got to be cautious about is you can't just put it on anywhere because uh, that's like saying that you can uh, put a side on and your third axis is always correct because if you spin this level around like this, if your bow string isn't perfectly um, up and down, then your level won't uh, stay level all the way around. So all I'm looking to do at this point is just get the level uh, set uh, for my second axis on my on my side. So here we go. We're going to step into it, and I'm going to show you some close-ups of what this actually looks like when I'm working on it. Now, right now the level is saying it's good. I'm looking at the level on the side, and it says that it is off. So I'm going to make my adjustments now. You'll need to loosen both top and bottom screws on this side. Do a little snug. Close. Just a little bit more. Tight backwards. Okay, so now I've got both set at level. That's the string level. And you'll see the sight level right there is level. And so this particular site uh, does not have a first axis adjustment, which would be if um, this dovetail mount right here could turn this direction. Okay, so it's squared up with the site itself. Everything's good. So basically on this particular site, you have a second axis, which is here. This adjustment, which adjusts this, and a third axis, which is right here. Um, if you can see that screw. Um, yeah, that's better. You can see that screw right there. 
and there's one underneath right here you loosen these two screws and that adjusts the whole bar this direction in or out like this so that's your third axis adjustment on this particular bow now or on this particular site so the medicine stone um, the medicine stone vise has an adjustment here where I can loosen this bar right there and this tips forward and back so it allows the bow to be basically in a third axis position let me set this up and I'll show you so this is the bar that I was showing you and you lean the bow forward, tilt it forward like that there's a, the uh, forward and my actually my bottom pocket is actually hitting right here you can go back with it but if you can go forward that's all you need to do and you can get it in a down shooting position and you can look at your level and see if it stayed between the marks or if it moved in or out mine actually stayed between the marks but barely between the marks the level was actually perfect to begin with right in the middle and as I lean the bow over it's just a hair to the right so I'm going to go ahead and fix that because I can there's no reason not to get it perfect if you know you can now honestly the best way to set this thing up is to measure third axis at full draw uh, Hamsky makes a nice tool that I use a lot um, for checking that third axis uh, but for this hunting site and just getting everything up and going, this is going to work for me for now. Um, I may check it later with the Hamski, but um, most of the time, if everything is square on the bow, it is very, very close. So, um, and I know this is a very straight, straight bow, so we shouldn't have any issues with that. So, anyway, I'm going to make this adjustment, and I'll let you watch and see. All right, so both screws need to be loosened up. They are tight. You have a, a white line indicating um, the stationary bar and the bar that you can actually move. So that kind of helps you with your adjustments and knowing how far you've moved the site or how far uh, that you need to go back. That way if you do like I just did there, it makes a big movement. So um, move this around just a little bit. So you'll see that uh, these, this level is perfect now and I'm going to go ahead and loosen this thing up and um, see if I can do that without dumping everything over here. See that right there. Oop. Oh, fell on me. Okay, so now it's somewhat square. There we go. Wow, that was a long way around to show you that, but when you're filming this by yourself, sometimes it's tricky. So that's the basic in and outs of setting up a Tech Hybrid Pro. This is a three pin model. They also make it in a five pin model. And this site doubles as a target site. If you're looking to, you know, maybe get into doing a little bit of target shooting, but you want a really great hunting site as well, this is a perfect site. My son and my uh, daughter also use this site for, um, for their competitions. Uh, it's easily accessible to, uh, to get a scope housing and you can take off this three pin housing right here and just put a scope housing right on and you've got a target site and it's absolutely perfect. This is the model I use uh, for, for shooting targets. This is the Tech Hybrid base. So um, it is a wonderful, wonderful site. If you've not got out and test shot the Ritual, you owe it to yourself, especially if you're buying a new bow this year. Do not just go buy the first thing that someone has on the rack. Go shoot these bows. Find a local elite dealer and, and honor the ritual by test shooting it. And uh, I think you'll really like it. And before long, you'll join the movement.